To extra depth, a local nightclub that settled with El Paso County after hundreds of alleged violations may be out of compliance once again. While this settlement will not allow Jaguars to reopen under the same name, it does not say the same owners cannot operate a different business there. ABC7 found that the parent company of Jaguars will open a new business here in less than three weeks, but this time under a different name. ABC7's Carrie Mannix has the story. Arrest after arrest at Jaguars El Paso. The nightclub has made headlines for numerous violations over the years, but it wasn't until this year it was temporarily shut down. This restraining order by the El Paso County Attorney's Office was the prelude to a settlement reached between the county and Jaguars owners back in March. This is the site of over 200 violations between 2018 and the start of this year. They include 26 violations of the city's sexually oriented business ordinance, 52 violations of disorderly conduct, and 57 violations involving illegal drug use. The county's restraining order also detailed that at least 16 of the violations involved a gun. And while this restraining order and this following settlement only sought to temporarily shut down Jaguars, the new business may be in violation of it based on recent online posts. The settlement lists conditions that Jaguars former owners must follow, including that the establishment must obtain a TABC license, which allows a business to sell and serve alcohol. The TABC website does not show any applications either approved or submitted by Jaguars owners as of yet. However, an Instagram post by the account Chicas Locas El Paso shows it is opening September 12th at the former Jaguars address. ABC7 found that Chicas Locas and Jaguars are owned by the same parent company, RCI Holdings Incorporated. The second condition is that the word strip will not be used when promoting the business. Yet on the Chicas Locas website, the club is described as the number one rated Latin strip club. Hmm. That was Carrie Mannix reporting. We reached out to the only listed contact on the RC1 Holdings Incorporated website for comment. They did not respond as of this newscast. ABC7 also reached out to the El Paso County Attorney's Office. A spokesperson said they cannot comment on something that hasn't happened yet. The city of El Paso also filed a lawsuit against Jaguars looking to permanently close it down. City Council discussed the item in executive session today but took no action. We will be sure to keep you updated on air and online with the latest. And for more extra depth reporting, download the KVIA ABC7 CTV app. You can find it on Roku, Fire TV, and on Apple TV. 